Hello paper crafters and welcome to my channel. I'm Tamara and today we are going to be making this little standing box favor. There's the back and the front. It's filled with candies. It's It'll stand on its own. So let's get started. We're going to start out with a piece of of uh, I used very vanilla cardstock and it's cut at three and three quarters by eight and a half and on the one edge you can see I used the edgelets to create the scallop border the little big shot edgelets here you get two pieces in there and I used the scallop and I went ahead and ran that through I don't have the magnetic um, little plate so it's a little difficult so I went ahead and did that part so now we are going to score this piece and we go on the eight eight and a half inch side <clears throat> and we're going to score at uh, three and four and then we're going to go at seven and an eighth and eight and one quarter Okay, and then we're going to go on the on the bottom on the bottom end of it. We are going to score three quarters of an inch, and then we'll be ready to do a little stamping. Okay, get this out of the way. All right, now um, it's hard to see the score lines, but you'll end up with two white areas, and those are going to be the front and the back. And so we are going to do some stamping on that. And I'm using the brown sugar, and I'm going to be uh, using a stamp from the uh, Truly Grateful stamp set in our mini. I'm using the Chevron stamp. Mm -hmm. So I've got it ready to go and I want to put one to where it ends up on one side and then on the other side. And there's no exact science to this. I just thought it added a little more interest to the card or to the favor, excuse me. Okay. Whoops. Now, while we have our ink out, we're going to go ahead and stamp the Truly Grateful onto some very vanilla cardstock. And I also stamped the little log end. And I went ahead and did that first uh, before the video because I don't have a punch for that. And it takes a minute or two to get it. Uh, cut out but for the truly grateful we are going to be using this modern label punch to cut it out so let's center that okay now we're going to take a dauber and that same baked brown sugar ink and we're going to go around the edge of our truly grateful and just daub a little bit and we are going to do the same thing to our little log end piece and it just makes it look a little better then we're gonna because I want to add a little more depth to this in here I'm gonna just like make circular motions and try to to add a little bit more color in there it makes that little log piece look a little more realistic a little more interest okay alright now we're going to go ahead and fold all of our score lines. Okay, it's the little pieces on this end. 
Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of trimming on the bottom. Um, in this piece, you can see, let's see here, it's going to be trimmed out like so. It's hard to tell in the very vanilla, so I just wanted to show you there. So we'll just do some angle cuts. I think it folds together just a little bit nicer when you do this. It gives a cleaner looking little favor. And just takes a minute. I just do some angle cuts. It just seems like it folds in a little bit better. Now this little bitty end piece on, on that little quarter inch piece, we're going to cut that off. And then we're going to angle in on the other piece. Just cut that off and then you're going to want to angle that just a little bit. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of sticky strip to this one little piece here and to this bottom piece so that we can assemble it together. Get these out of my way. And for favors, especially when you're putting candy in something, you want it to stick well together. So you want to use a good adhesive and sticky strip is really strong and will hold well. Of course, uh, you know, you can use a, a tacky glue or something else like that if you like. Okay, now we just take our plastic off, the backing. Of course, it's not cooperating very well. <clears throat> our other piece. Okay. Now, I like to fold my little flaps up inside. So, Oops, this one needs to go like so. Okay. Now, I'm going to fold that little piece in and just line up there. It's sticking to my finger. Okay. And now on this bottom piece, we just fold that in and we're going to go inside and just make sure it's stuck down really good. So we have our base. Now I'm taking a piece of the uh, burlap and this piece is eight and a half inches long. And I'm going to use some uh, tacky glue. And we're going to glue this around the, the uh, little favor. We don't need a lot on here, but I find this works a little bit better and sticks better than trying to do the sticky strip on there. Okay. Now I want to just go down from the top edge just a little bit, maybe like a half inch or so, and then we're just going to adhere this around. Just keep going around. Of course it'll take it a minute to stick well and we'll trim any excess off once we are done. Okay, now we'll I'll come back and trim that off. Okay, now I also used um, our Autumn Accents. Um, it's a die. I know you probably can't see, but there's several leaf shapes on here. And I cut out, I went ahead and ran it through my Big Shot, and I used the Sweater Weather DSP from the Holiday Mini, and I made the leaves that we are going to attach to the front. 
and <clears throat> you'll have to because you're going on the burlap I'm also going to use this um, tacky glue to make sure it sticks well and I added my first little leaf at kind of an angle and then I used another one contrasting color and I angled that a bit to the other way and then we're going to use the little login piece and kind of cover the stems of those leaves and then we will take our truly grateful and that's going to go right in here now these favors could also be for you know a Thanksgiving table and if you want to put name, someone's name on them of course you could add a little name tag there as well now on the back I, I wanted a couple more little leaves so we are going to um, stick a couple on the back and I like this little acorn piece so we're going to add that over here okay now we just need our little handle and the handle is just a little another little piece of the burlap and this is about um, a four inch piece. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to get my glue to come down. I just use a little glue on either end of these. And we're simply going to take them and just go down inside. I just kind of eyeball and get it kind of in the middle. And you bring the other one around. Now let's go ahead and trim that just a bit there. We're okay, and there you go. And here it is filled up. Hope you like it. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye.